Please do not contact or harass people I mention in this video I created. I am only stating the drama of what happened and also will give my opinion on the issue which you may disagree with me about. Which you can leave your comments down below. I guess I better go ahead and talk about this because considering that some people are upset with me and then accuse me of simping and all this other shit. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to go ahead and address this issue because it seems that some people think they instantly won and defeated the evil, which is this woman. Take off your wig, you hair. big bitch. Take off your wig. I don't need Take it hair. is a or wig. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? What? Do you have cancer? Oh my god, do you have fing cancer? <laughs> you that's are awful. such a loser. You're wearing a wig because you're bald. This person is known as Playmate Tessie. She has a YouTube channel which almost has 5,000 subscribers, plus a lot of viewership. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this because a lot of people are upset with me, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what they did to me on the comment section. Vegeta, I wanted to pound that ass for a long time. Let me get into that ass. Alright, make it quick. Oh my, that is really big. I will admit it did hurt me when they said on the comment section, but you know what? They did make some fair amount of criticisms. I'll admit it wasn't well researched or very good uh, commentary. It wasn't really much I could do because considering I have work in real life and I don't always have the time, but now I do have the time to make this video and hopefully you'll like it. But then again, you have the right to leave your comments down below and make your fair criticisms about this video. So here we go. And let's continue on what. So let's continue on with Playmate Tessie and why she's getting canceled. You're poor and you have cancer and no hair and your wig's crooked, by the way. Fix that. Take off your wig. Don't be a pussy. Take off your wig, Lucchino. <laughs> you have fucking cancer. You're such a loser. Oh my god, I can't. So, what's it like having f***ing cancer and having to wear wigs? Well, it's great because people give me money. People pay you to be f***ing ugly and bald? No, people pay me because I'm dying. You're such a f***ing loser. Basically, you're getting a welfare for special needs. God. Yeah, she is a real piece of work. And let me tell you, after what happened, she got doxxed and also the fact that people called her father, even went on social media to tell him what was going on, what her daughter was doing. Yes. I need you at my house. I'm gonna be home in an hour. You better not be there. I'm you trying to delete. I can't delete it. I don't know. You should have never, never, ever had it on. I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I didn't know you were screaming. It doesn't you stop streaming in my house. It just cost me my job. Live stream. Get, get the in my house. I could leave. Yeah, get the in my house. I was sleeping. Go to a hotel. I don't give a you get out. I can't. I have no Wi-Fi. I can't book. You get out my house. So the internet netsins rejoiced as they took down an evil woman on the internet, or so they thought. The thing, guys. I know that you guys are happy that she uh, got disowned by her father, but. The problem here, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and address this because the fact is she doesn't give a flying fuck. She has, and I'm going to go ahead and use my freaking goddamn uh, armchair psychology here. I'm not an expert, so don't take my opinion seriously. This is just my analytical brain working here. I believe she has narcissistic personality disorder. She's even showing signs of it when she did this to her father. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip. Like, telling me to leave right now or he will, like, hurt me. My, like, my dad wants me to leave right now. I, like, I don't have a chance to move. I have no internet. He is saying that if I don't leave that I will be, like, he, he, he is threatening to hurt me. And he's coming back in an hour and I have to leave immediately or he will harm me. And I, uh, no notice, no anything. I am 18, but there's no notice. I'm just being told right now on the spot, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. And I'm being told that if I don't leave that I will be in danger, that my life is being threatened. I need you to take a deep breath for me, okay? We're going to get help to you. Right. And I'm fully capable of moving. Like, I work all the time. Um, 
so uh i you know i do the internet like i'm like i do youtube and like stuff like that youtube twitch whatever i'm financially fine and my dad is threatening to sue me because i fell asleep on a live stream and my dad was screaming at my sister and my viewers leaked the clip of him yelling and he's threatening to sue me i, I like i don't remember exactly what he said but i he basically said that if i am not out in an hour that he is going to like seriously harm me and he said that i better be out or 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 it's over and he's gonna hurt me and like he's gonna like whatever and then my sister's banging on my door and it's really scary and my dad's like threatened to kill me multiple times my dad's very like is he on location right now ma'am is he at the house right now no he is not there right now he said that he will be back in an hour so i'm okay. like i'm terrified like i need help Yes, yes, he has multiple weapons, and I do, and it's like, I don't know how he even got access to the weapons he's got. He has serious mental disorders. He has multiple guns. He has swords. They're everywhere. He doesn't even keep his guns in a case. I really think he's going to kill me. Please have someone come. That doesn't really convince you of my argument. I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip from a YouTuber, and he actually showed me something that really confirms something to me that is fishy. And the YouTuber's name is Sensitive Society. So here you go. Listen here, before anyone jumps on here and says Sensitive Society, we get it. You made two videos on the girl. You're obviously using this for views, money, and clout. You disgusting little clout chaser. And to that I say, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the only reason why I'm even talking about this besides the views, of course, and now she's using this situation to boost her channel, much like mine, actually. Holy shit, am I a hypocrite? I think I am. Anyways, to those of you who are lost, who haven't been watching the anime lately, a few days ago I made a video on a spoiled little Brad who was making fun of someone for having cancer it's absolutely disgusting when you're mocking someone who's dying you're like hi you're dying you have to be pure evil not even a 12 year old commentary channel who's the edgiest kid you'll ever meet he wouldn't even say that he at least has some respect for those victims but this girl i think she's 18 20 the point is she's an adult and she just doesn't stop the main reason why i'm talking about this is because someone on instagram dm me and they told me yo the girl is live check it out so i go to her live stream and the first thing she does for the first minute she's just posting for the thumbnail It's a typical YouTube thumbnail. Shocked face, pointing at something. Hey, look, my parents got a divorce. Red arrow. I got eight points to the penis. So you know what I mean. You know how YouTubers love to clickbait. I didn't watch a full stream. I was in there for a few minutes. And while I was there, there were people literally donating to her, saying she did nothing wrong. I don't have a lot of screenshots to prove it, but this is one I managed to capture. Well, then, sensitive society, you actually will have to excuse me for a moment. I'm going to go ahead and help you out here and show you that this account is actually real. Thanks for showing the screenshot, by the way, and actually confirming something for me. As you can see, that cow man actually does exist, and his account actually is real. And I'm actually looking up this, the person in question. As you can see right here, the channels he follows is interesting. And the fact that he f follows Playmate Tessie. Wow. And you can see who he follows right now. And this is pretty interesting. He also follows Bella Delphine. Be positive K, Shuan Head, <laughs> Shirley Curly, great channel by the way, uh, and is and the Verge, <laughs> little pump. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to back to the video at hand here. Words of a great YouTuber, who I follow on YouTube. He would say, he's a. Sam! 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 And I hate to say this, guys, and I know you guys will disagree with me, and you can leave your comments down below and tell me if I'm wrong. She reminds me of a young version of Brittany Valente, but more cruel and evil. She's like the opposite version that doesn't play video games. And the fact is, guys, you guys played into her hands. She wants attention. She wants this. And she's getting away with this. She actually is getting simp money. If you're going to tell me that, oh, I can cash back. No, that's how exactly Brittany Valente started out. People kept cash backing her and that didn't stop her from streaming. The fact is, you guys 
don't realize she doesn't give a flying F about that. She will never be canceled. She even said that to the cancer patient. Wigs and chemo, try me, bitch. <laughs> that try me, try me. Oh my god, as up. And if you think I'm not serious, find out. Find out. I've done this plenty of times. So Until you take find it out away. that I mean my shit. Try, try to cancel me. I, I, I've never been canceled, and you're not gonna be the one to cancel me, and I never will be canceled. Try canceling me, and I will literally take your make a wish and all your cancer money. <laughs> I'll sue everything. I'll sue you for all of your cancer. And to you for everything you have and don't have. I've done this so many times. And here's the thing, guys. You can disagree with me. I know that most people don't like what I have to say at times. And this is the problem that most people need to understand. You think the whole videos of saying, haha, karma, she's, she's doomed. No, she's not doomed. She's not even <laughs> close to doomed. She's practically getting away with it. And she's practically laughing her ass off while we all watch. Anyways, leave your thoughts down below and tell me what you guys think of this. Am I wrong? Tell me. Anyways, bye-bye.